everyone, so I thought I would finally get around to doing my perfume collection video because I had some spare time on my hands. So I went and grabbed my perfume and I'm going to show you what I have. Um, first off I'll show you how I'm storing it. At the moment I'm just storing it in a plastic drawer in my bathroom. Other drawers obviously. But um, very soon I'm going to be having a chest of drawers up here in my bedroom. It's behind here. And I'm going to get a nice big plate and have them all in the middle of that plate. Because I believe that a lot of these perfume bottles are really pretty and they really do deserve to be kind of displayed. So that will be what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go through and show you everything I have bit by bit. And I'm going to warn you, I have a lot of celebrity perfumes and it's kind of a really bad obsession um, collecting per um, celebrity perfumes. So I will get started. This is a really, really lovely perfume that I got for my birthday, I think a year ago, and it's Versace Je Jeans Couture Woman, and there's a pink bottle version of this and a yellow bottle, and the pink bottle doesn't smell as nice as the yellow bottle. It's a really fruity scent. I it kind of reminds me of banana, but I think that's only me that thinks that, because my family and friends, they say this really lolly, kind of candy smelling. So that is a really great perfume, and I love the bottle. Um, to a celebrity perfume, I have Maria Sharapova's perfume, which is a really lovely soft floral scent, and I love the bottle. So that is just called Maria Sharapova. We have another celebrity perfume, a Paris Hilton one, and this is, I'm pretty sure this one is just called Paris Hilton, and again, this is another one, it's kind of got a musky scent to it with like a really nice kind of fruity undertones. It's a really, really good perfume. I like it. It's one that um, I smelt on somebody else in the house for a while and they said and then I saw it um, in the stores and I was like, oh, I should really get that. Then I have a mini version of that Marie Sharapova one. Great handbag sized one. Good for a night out. I have Vera Wang Princess, which I got when I was in hospital. My grandmother got it for me as a gift, and this is a beautiful perfume. It's more I call it a nighttime scent. It just can't, it's one of those kind of more classy scents, not so much fruity or floral for the day. It's more strong and definitely more suited to nighttime. I have Hilary Duff's perfume, which is called With Love. The bottle's kind of getting ruined. Now this is kind of a fruity scent as well, but it's really lovely. I completely adore the scent of it and I really can't describe it. I'm really bad with um, scents lately, but if you ever get a chance to pick it up and smell it, give it a go because it is gorgeous and I know that there's a second version out which I haven't tried yet. So that's called With Love by Hilary Duff and look at the bottle, I think it's just so classy. Mm, a Britney Spears one. This is called, look, this one I don't use very often, and it's just gathered dust. And it's a very musky scent. And I love her bottles, that she, the little puffy piece that she adds. This one is called In Control Curious. And this smells definitely more like musk with a sweet undertone. Not necessarily fruity, but very, very sweet. And you only need a little bit, and it smells gorgeous and yeah, like I said, I love the bottle. Something like this should definitely be on display and not shoved in the drawer like mine is. This is an Adidas one. It's called Fresh Vibes and it's just one that I throw in my handbag when it gets really, really hot here in summer and I know it might be more of a day where I'll sweat more. This is one of those perfumes that's really just uplifting and cool and it kind of just makes you feel very fresh, so it's got a really good name, Fresh Vibes, and that's by Adidas. I'm getting through this so quickly because I'm up to my last perfume, no, second last perfume. This is Intimately Beckham by Victoria Beckham. Again, this is one of those classier nighttime scents. Very strong, kind of, I guess, rosy. I really don't know how to describe it. I wish I could describe it better for you. Really, really pretty feminine scent. Definitely not something I'd wear during the day. Definitely a nighttime scent. Something that I'd go for 
when I'm going out to a nice dinner or something. I, yeah, that's how I'd wear it. I wouldn't wear it to uni. Then my favourite perfume is the, it's got a mark on it too, Misty or Shireen by Christian Dior. And this is the one that is so popular and I got it at Christmas time. This is again one of those really strong feminine scents, but I think it can be used in the daytime or the nighttime. It's got that kind of really strong scent, but it also has that fruity undertone, and I, it reminds me of strawberries. I think it smells like strawberries. So if you're looking for a strawberry perfume, I don't know, but I might be the only one who thinks that. I wouldn't have a clue, but that's my Misty or Shireen, and I love the bottle. And since Christmas I don't use it too too much because it's one of those ones that I just don't want it to run out even though I could buy another bottle if I really wanted to. So I'm going to wrap this video up now because I finished quite quickly so I thought I'd share um, my perfume collection with you. If you have a perfume collection video up that you want me to see just mention it. Um, also I have Twitter and a blog which I don't think that all of you know about and if you would like to check that out the details for that are in the sidebar so go and have a look or oh, put them here I'm gonna do this everyone does this I'm gonna put the Twitter link here go click it and the blog link here go click it <laughs> and remember to subscribe so thanks guys bye